Wait times for cancer treatment in Alberta are some of the worst in the entire country and there's absolutely no excuse for it and I'll show you why. A recent report by the Canadian Institute for Health Information, an organization that monitors and tracks healthcare wait times across the country, showed that Alberta has some of the very worst cancer wait times across the board. And it's true, you can check for yourself. Most provinces now have real-time online wait time reporting. So I thought I'd do a quick comparison of chemotherapy wait times so we could all see the disparity between Alberta and our more successful little sister to the east, Saskatchewan. The average wait time for 90% of patients to receive their first round of chemotherapy in Alberta is almost six weeks. That seems dangerously long. Now let's look at our neighbor to the east, that conservative-led province that also relies on natural resource revenue to pay the bills, Saskatchewan. The average wait time for 90% of patients to receive their first round of chemotherapy in Saskatchewan is 11 days. Now what about that long wait time to get chemotherapy in Alberta? Why could that be? That's such a drastic difference. Surely Saskatchewan must just spend way more money on their healthcare system than Alberta does. Well, no, that's not the case. Saskatchewan spends less money on healthcare than Alberta, but what they do spend, they spend it better. Saskatchewan spends $4,621 on healthcare per person. Alberta spends $4,862 per person. Alberta spends $241 more per capita, but sees a week's longer wait. Actually, Alberta spends the second highest amount on healthcare in the entire country, only surpassed by Newfoundland and Labrador. Alberta is also seeing the highest spending increase on health care at 6.3% per person. Now, for all that money thrown at health care, the customers, you and I, aren't getting better care or service, and that's a real problem. American studies have shown that lung cancer tumors double in size every 4.3 months, so getting access to treatment fast saves lives. Now, this is what Rachel Notley said March 24, 2015, when she was campaigning to be the premier. Listen. But the PCs aren't offering better health care or shorter wait times in emergency rooms. Instead, they're standing by while Alberta's health care crisis gets worse. Anyone who sat in a hospital with a loved one waiting for care knows that Mr. Prentice's proposal tonight is nothing more than a waiting room tax. Mr. Prentice's priority is to force Albertans to pay more and get less while he gives away billions to the most profitable banks and corporations. Oh, she promised us better health care and shorter wait times. She didn't want us to pay more and get less. But that's exactly what Rachel Notley delivered. Longer wait times, a more expensive system that we will all have to pay for. Notley has even started giving handouts for corporations, just like Jim Prentice did. But this time it's for green schemes and not golf courses. But really, it's all the same cronyism with our money. Now, Saskatchewan proves that more and better health care can happen with less money. Saskatchewan isn't afraid to experiment with private clinics and outside-the-box thinking. But not in Alberta. The NDP treats the healthcare behemoth like Jabba the Hutt. It's a big fat monstrosity that needs to be bowed down to, and it has an insatiable appetite for our cash. The NDP keeps saying they're going to protect healthcare. But what on earth are they protecting it from? Accountability for the money it spends? Innovation? Efficiency? For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.